Howdy. So today we're going to go over the first move of the white belt self-defense, which is for a front choke attack. Traditional in Kempo, this is called parting wings. Now, I know a lot of you Kempoists out there are saying, hey, hold on a second, parting wings is for a double-handed push. And you're right, it is for a double-handed push. But this can be adapted in such a way, so if someone's coming at you trying to choke you, first thing you're going to do is you're going to react. A lot of self-defense schools, you know, you're practicing your self-defense when you're standing there, or you're at, the, you're at the ready stance, you're ready to go, you're standing way there, allow somebody to come up and choke you. In the self-defense situation, you should never be in this situation. You should never actually allow this person to come from the front grabbing you with those hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to do parting wings. First thing you're going to do is you're either going to step back with your right foot or you're going to step forward with your left foot. And the reason why you're going to either step back or step forward is because you need to judge the distance between you and the attacker. So you're going to step, double outward blocks. Now, you can either do this open hand or you can do this extended outward with a closed fist. Double outward blocks. You're going to come in, striking to the chin, striking to the side of the neck. As you thrust forward with the palm, you're going to come back, striking to the side of the neck, and then you're going to drive forward that hammer fist right to the solar plex and then you're going to cross out. Make sure when you're doing this, boom, hands come out, hand comes across as you're chopping, and palm. This hand up here is ready to check in case that person is attacking. You're going to come back, chop. As you chop and coming back, that hand is coming back up here in the guard in case this hand over here is doing something funny, and then driving into the solar plex with a punch. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this technique works. So as she's coming forward trying to attack, I'm going to step back before she even gets her hands there, double block. Now depending on the size, like she's really small, so I'm going to be stepping back so I've got that reach with my arm. If she's a little bit bigger, she's got long arms, I'm going to step forward, driving those arms in. Now, I don't need to strike over here. Don't try if it's too far away to get that strike blow. So I'm striking, coming across as I do so driving the palm into the side of her ribs, coming back, chopping to the side of the neck, hammer fist right down to the solar plex. So let's try it again from a different angle. As she's coming in, I'm going to block those hands off. I'm going to clear as I palm, chop, and then hammer fist right to the solar plex. Again, as you're working this, you want to make sure that, you know, you're clearing, Chop, hammer fist, chop, and right to the right to the stomach. So you step back. One, two, three, four. If this is difficult for you and you need to go ahead and you know practice this maneuver, you need to make sure that your hands are basically just doing this. Like your wax on, wax off, your, your arms are flying, you're, you're doing this crazy motion here. So if you're having trouble, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you're having trouble with that motion, just practice your hands like, you know, like a silly seal. Hands going back and forth like this because it's basically the motion of the move. One, two, three, four. And that's parting wings.